Hey guys, what's up? Pasay Bora here. This is the last game for today, January 16, 2024. Um, we have another Western Conference battle here, OKC Thunder, going up against the Los Angeles Clippers, and that one will happen at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 11 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. By the way, uh, OKC Thunder, they got a record of 27 wins and 12 losses as they approach this game. While for Los Angeles Clippers, they display a record of 25 and 14. We all know that we actually uh, provide free picks right here in our YouTube channel. But for those who would want to avail our premium picks or premium packages, they might want to reach us through Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, or even Messenger account. Just check on our descript uh, our the descriptions of our videos. Sorry about that. Um, and you can actually see the details right there. The spread that is given is minus 5.5, and that's given towards Los Angeles Clippers. LA Clippers, they would have the home court advantage on this. In terms of fatigue, um, we also got to give it to Los Angeles Clippers because last night, um, OKC Thunder, they actually went up against Los Angeles Lakers and the Clippers were actually having some rest. So again, LA Clippers, they have the home court advantage. At the same time, they have some advantage in terms of fatigue. Now, in terms of uh, momentum, both teams are actually coming off losses. Uh, but for their last 10 games, the Clippers have won 8 as compared to the, the Thunder, where they have won 7. So again, both teams are doing great, but they have to give a slight advantage towards the Los Angeles Clippers as winning 8 out of their last 10 is just tremendously great. Now let's take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams, alright? Now for OKC Thunder, uh, and again, I say this again and again because they are able to maintain this. And I'm talking about their health. I don't see anyone out for OKC. I don't see anyone in the injury list whatsoever. Uh, so they have the advantage, obviously. Uh, if you take a look at Los Angeles Clippers, uh, uh, Musa and Zubak are both out, confirmed, for this game. And we have Xavier Mood listed as game time decision for the Clippers. So again, two players are already confirmed out, including their starting center. And then there's one who is tagged as uh, questionable and that's Savior Mood. So again, OKC Thunder, they do have the advantage in terms of health and availability. Um, OKC Thunder, they actually lost last night and that was against the that was against uh, Los Angeles Lakers. So um, yes, the Clippers they have some you know they have some uh, advantage in terms of fatigue because they were they were resting up last night while Thunder they were going up against uh, you know the Lakers. But at least uh, at least OKC Thunder did not have to travel because, again, they stayed in L.A. to, to go up uh, today against the Clippers. But still, we have to give a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of advantages, um, talk about different factors for the Clippers. Um, and one thing, that, uh, one thing that I actually like about uh, the Los Angeles Clippers is that um, when they started, you know, when they started winning, uh, because as you can remember when uh, James Harden uh, got into the Clippers, they started losing, right? But then when they started, when they started to win, they were just on a roll. You know, I, I mean, they were on a roll. It's hard to beat them back to back. That's that's one thing. If they would lose, yes, of course, you know, they ain't perfect. But the next game, you would see uh, an entirely different Clippers, you know, shooting that ball, trying to get that ball from the, you know, from their opponent. Now there is also an advantage that OKC Thunder that can you know that can take advantage of, and that is the the, the absence of uh, Zubak, right? Um, and we all know that the OKC Thunder they have this rookie Chet Holmgren as a you know as a as a monster, as, as one huge rookie. Um, and, uh, Zubak would won't be there, so if they could actually set uh, Holmgren, um, in, you know, in, in those easy baskets, they would definitely get a lot. But um, one should not overlook uh, the capability <coughs> of Daniel Thais. You know, Daniel Thais, obviously, he is smaller. He is, I mean, Zubak is wider, Zubak is taller, but man, Thais is such a wise and a strong, uh, a strong uh, center. Um, by the way, he, is, he was actually the center of, the, of Germany when they won the World Cup, right? So, um, Thais ain't 
ain't as explosive as you know as a as a Zubac or any other center, but Thais knows what to do as a center. You know, he sets those picks, he grabs those rebounds, um, and he can he would actually pr- produce for you. You know, he would give you points, he would give you he, he would give you turnovers um, of the opponents, right? And he would also grab those you know grab those rebounds. So I think um, I think what this does for OKC is that you know it, it just gives them a chance, but still. I'm signing with OK. I mean, sorry. I'm signing. I'm still signing with uh, LA Clippers to win this one. Now, in terms of the spread of minus five point five, I feel like they should be able to take care. You know, take care of that. SGA um, would also be. You know, would also be tired trying to contain Paul George. Um, so I don't think. You know, I don't think uh, OKC Thunder would be able to really play the way. You know, the way they 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 do. In, in terms of their offense, because again they are a bit tired, and this Los Angeles Clippers, I expect them to really attack OKC Thunder early on. So my pick on this one would be LA Clippers minus five point five. I'm actually expecting um, a huge scoring a scoring game from Kawhi Leonard of this matchup. Again, that's Clippers minus five point five. Peace out, pass love, and God bless.